Yeah, I really appreciate you being here. I've just gotten to know a lot of you, and what a beautiful setting that uh, you guys have put together here. And so, so far, everything's been terrific. Uh, you put on a wonderful show, and I'm so happy for you guys uh, and your life going forward. It's an exciting time, and you know, I just wanted to say uh, thanks for uh, you know just being my daughter and. You're a lucky man and, uh, you know, take good care of her. There's probably a hundred Tennessee hearts breaking this weekend, knowing that Jessica Campbell is officially off the market. Jess, you externally radiate beauty, confidence, and strength, but what's best is that your heart is gold. I can confidently say that from day one, Jessica has had no fear of just settling with Adam. She's adored him from the day she met him, um, but more importantly, she highly respects him, and she's so proud of the man that he's become. She smiles when she talks about him, and she has starry eyes every time she looks at him. Adam, I don't need to tell you how lucky you are. You already know. <laughs> Thanks so much for taking great care of our girl. I had seen Jess, and obviously her stunning looks are what strike you first, but that's not what sticks with you. What sticks with you is her kind heart, her loving spirit, and her ability to take my goofy, tall, lanky pitcher friend into a goofy, tall, lanky fiance and future husband. It's okay to challenge each other to continue to grow as life gets harder. It's marriage is a two-way street. You're gonna get out of it what you put into it. So give it everything you have because you're both worth that. Cheers for an old Irish blessing that I've had in my family for a little while. So may your house always be too small to host all your friends. I love you guys. We've always lived in separate cities, but Rav called me about Jess, and I was like, man, this guy's sounding pretty serious about this. And I think he had like been creeping on her at yoga or something, like that's how they met. I totally get why. I mean, Jess, you guys light up the room wherever you go. I couldn't be more excited for you guys. Uh, beautiful couple. I mean, keep doing what you're doing, and let's have a special weekend for you guys. Dear Adam, I can't believe our wedding day is finally here. I am so excited to be able to call you my husband. I have always dreamed of what this day would be like and who I would be standing up at the altar with, but this is better than I could have ever imagined. You are caring, genuine, funny, kind, smart, and very handsome. I am so thankful to have found someone who knows all of my flaws and loves me for them. Someone who can make me laugh even when I'm mad at you and someone who believes in me more than I believe in myself. I can't wait to build a life with you. I love you more than anything in the world, eh? XOXO, your almost wife. Jay, it is hard for me to put into words how lucky I feel to be marrying you. You are the most beautiful, kind, loving, and wonderful person I have ever met. You are the person I was meant to be with. I want you to know that I will always have your back and will always love you with all my heart. But I am so lucky to know you deeper than anyone else. You can be and do anything you set your mind to. I promise to always be there for you and love you forever. I am so excited to stand up there with you today and officially declare my love for you. Love, A. Oh my God. I warmly welcome you as we come together as family and friends in the sight of God to join Adam and Jessica in holy matrimony, signifying to us a spiritual union in Christ. It is to be entered in prayerfully with careful thought and reverence. It was ordained for the mutual help and comfort one ought to bring to each other, both in prosperity and in adversity. 
I encourage you to share willingly your joys and your worries, your successes and your struggles. I pray that the Lord Jesus bless your marriage with guidance and peace. As we know, marriage is not just about the grandiose, but more often about the mundane. Don't take for granted the love that life gives you. Always stay humble and kind. Jess and Adam, I wish for you a life filled with the love and happiness we will all share with you today. Oh, I will forever and always put you before me till the end of time. I, Adam, take you, Jessica, to be my wife. I, Jessica, take you, Adam, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as we both shall live. This is my loving vow. This is my loving vow. Jessica and Adam, since you have promised your love to each other in the presence of God, of your family and friends, I now pronounce you husband and wife. It is my honor to present to all of you Mr. and Mrs. Ravenel. I brought something with me tonight to help me give this speech. This is a box that Jess and I made when we were 11 or 12 years old. When we made this box, we put secrets in the box. We wrote about our future husbands in the box. We really like kind of put everything in the box. I've always been Jessica's best friend and she has been mine, but now we have new best friends in our life. So Adam and Jess, I encourage you both to make a new box and cherish the new memories that you'll make as husband and wife. Adam is everything that Jessica wished for while we were growing up. I think one of the notes in the box, Jessica actually wrote that she hopes her husband is tall, hot, and sweet. Adam is kind, handsome, and loves her well, but that's pretty much the same thing when you're 12 years old. So it's safe to say that Jessica is marrying her dream man, and as her best friend, I could not be happier to say that. When I first met Jess in Nashville, um, she had this Southern way of just making you feel so welcome and loved, and I instantly knew I liked her. I have never been more sure leaving that weekend than I wanted Adam to end up with you. Watching Adam with you, I've never seen him more happy with anybody in his life, and that's, that's what you can only hope for in your little brother marrying somebody. And Adam, thanks for not screwing it up, because pretty excited to have her as a new sister, um, and I could not be more happy for you that you get to spend the rest of your life with someone who makes you so incredibly happy. How do we summarize the last 30 years? I can say I'm so proud of you, and I get prouder of you every day. To Adam, you know, I, I really do mean that when I met you, um, I had full confidence in how you treat my sister. I'm just so happy for y'all.